Hey, hey, howdy, y'all. All right, so here we go again. I wanted to do one last little benchmark here. Notice I got a new test bench. I've still got the Tai Chi uh, X870E, the Tai Chi Lite, excuse me, set up here. And if you remember um, my last video, I did the 5090 running the benchmark, and I took it from uh, PCIe 5 down to PCIe 3. And we saw very, very little change in the performance of modeling this benchmark. And just a reminder, <clears throat> if you're not familiar, apologize, or, or if you are been watching me, apologize, I'm gonna repeat it. So both the motherboard uh, X16 slots on this motherboard go to the CPU. So when you put a second one in there, it's X8, X8, but they're still on PCIe 5. As you can see here, we got our 5070Ti's. And here's what I'm gonna do on this, uh, this test. I'm gonna drop it down to PCIe 4 with a dual card setup. And I am getting about the same um, results. I don't have, I sold my other, um, I'm down to one of each of these, the gaming uh, overclocked Gigabyte 5070 Ti, and then I've got the Asus Prime in there. And I moved my kilowatt up here closer. So we're doing 470. I think it was at 505 last time. So maybe the Prime just it doesn't take quite as much power as before. But the results of wide open, uh, eight lanes on each card, PCIe 5, 23.4. And also what I'm doing on the benchmark this go round is I'll load the benchmark, uh, which loads the model into the VRAM, which takes a little bit of time. So typically my first run is a number that's way low, which is knocking down my average. So I'm loading it and then stopping it and then starting it again so that we get pretty close or at least a continuous pattern of similar numbers here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and do the 5080s too. But while I've got the 70 Ti's in here, uh, since they're running PCIe 5, I'm gonna go to the motherboard. I'm gonna turn off the X8 lanes and change them from auto, which is PCIe 5, down to PCIe 4 and see what that does in a dual card setup to see if the communication between the cards takes a hit on the performance. And then I might even just do uh, PCI 3 too and just see what happens but I'm choosing the 5070 Ti's and the 5080's because if you remember back on the original video when I compared the Ti's and the 80's to the single 5090 the results were quite similar so I think we'd reached uh, PCI bus saturation between the 5070 Ti and the 5080's because the 5080's just barely outperformed I mean they did like 25 tokens instead of 24 um, so I think we're at the threshold but we'll know for sure and then this is the last uh, test I'm going to do with this motherboard I've got something else new inbound today and I'm going to swap it up and we'll make some changes and then compare these same cards on an older platform that both run at 16 lanes and we'll see what happens with that so anyway I'm going to go into BIOS and drop it down to 4 and we'll see what happens to the performance all right, so here we are getting into the BIOS and we're gonna set these. Now what I had done just now, it's not on video, I left uh, the X16 to auto and card one stayed at gen five on eight lanes and card two switched to gen four um, on eight lanes. So I want both of them to be at PCIe four speed. Um, each generation, the way I understand it, is twice as fast bandwidth-wise as the previous. So X8 by 4 is the equivalent to 16 lanes PCIe 3. So here we go. We're rebooting. We'll see what happens. All right, here we are back again. So I started my server. I loaded the model benchmark, and I stopped it. And I've uh, opened another command prompt, and I will restart it again so we don't have that five or ten second lag on that first reading and I'm gonna let this go we'll see what each card okay we're running eight four eight lanes PCIe four on that card and that card all right I'll 
I'll drop it here and pick back up when it's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is running a PCIe 4 and our results are looking very similar to the previous 465 watts. Got the gaming OC and then the Prime. Now the other day I'd done the dual 3060 12 gig models and then I had gotten concerned that those were being penalized because that's a PCIe uh, 4 card. And I thought, you know, if, if the motherboard's dropping down to eight lanes and then uh, the PCI Gen is also dropping to four, maybe the 3060s would have performed higher. But there you have it. It looks like that is just about the same. And let's do PCI 3 just for fun. All right, ladies and gents, let's take it to Gen 3 and see what happens. All right, one more time. Got the same setup. I'm gonna start the benchmark. I've already started it. Stop the benchmark. Start it again. GPUs are working. 8x PCI A3. x PCI E3. All right. I'll be back after the end of the benchmark. All right, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what to think here. PCIe 3, eight lanes each. What do you think? Oh, the same. And the time, maybe, maybe the response time is a little bit higher, but the token rate... It's coming in right in the same ballpark. That is not what I expected at all. We're using the same wattage, same cards. Makes me think maybe there is not a lot of back and forth communication between the GPUs during the response. I'm not, or maybe just setting the BIOS what it is doesn't really uh, drop it back. 23.29. I don't know what to think really. I'm gonna do the 5080s on the same test and I'll give you a little sneak peek of what I got coming for you after this uh, X870E platform. I got a little, little bit older tech with a pretty cool um, feature that we're gonna put through the ringer. So stick around. All right, so we got our Giga Gaming 5080s loaded up again. And I'm sorry, y'all are bearing with me here. I, I'm getting a sinus infection or allergies or something. My voice is just about to go. But you missed, I got into the BIOS. I set it back to PCIe 5, I loaded uh, the benchmark and closed it and reloaded it again so it is working i wanted to say something real quick so earlier i had the prime sitting here and it was smaller so this new test bench i ordered from amazon it's like 16 bucks it's some ccg some cheap china garbage i had to remove this little plate to make room and then this uh, model graphics card actually has a three slot design. So it has another little tab right here that wouldn't even go down in there. So I had to remove the screw and kind of wedge it in there. But this is a little more secure than my old homemade dolly here. This is what happens when you have a house remodel and you got a bunch of scrap wood in the garage. You start making stuff and it looks like this. Oh yeah. I'm quite a carpenter. I think I'll stick to computers. Anyway, we got our full speed 5080s running. Let's see what kind of wattage we're pulling with these bad boys. Just barely over the 70 TIs. First result is about the same. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking at this point. I know the 5080s are pushing the limit. Their 5070 TIs are pushing the limit. 
in the 80s are breaking it because we're not getting any better performance out of a much better card. So let this run. I'll be back with you. All right, just finishing up here on the 5080s full speed. If y'all haven't figured it out yet, I run a shop, computer store. Just went into it full time back in July. My very first video, if you go back and look, it's me unpacking all these graphics cards with help from my kiddos. And uh, that's all I got left. I had 52 50 series graphics cards initially. <clears throat> so anyhow, there we go. First run, 24.45 5080s full speed. Let's drop it down to Gen 4. All right, all right, all right. We're wrapping up here. At PCIe 4 speeds with the 5080s, as you guessed, similar results. When we're at 490 watts at the wall. And I'll do one more test on PCIe 3, and then we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, with this uh, x870 platform and we'll do a little chit chat about what we think is happening here all right it's the last go we got our gen 3 set up in the bios i've already loaded the model once uh running gen 3 let's see gpu z 15080. Second 5080. Both running eight lanes. Gen 3. Let's see what happens. Alright, I was busy doing something else, so I didn't catch the tail end of it there. But again, this was at PCIe 3 uh, with the 5080s. <laughs> Maybe our fastest score yet, honestly. I don't recall off the top of my head doing other stuff. I'll go back and look at it. But yeah, let's um let's wrap this up and do a quick summary. All right, guys and gals. Well, I hope that you all have enjoyed this series of benchmarking uh, with this model motherboard, the ASRock Tai Chi Lite X870E. Again, just to kind of summarize. I purchased this motherboard with specific intentions of doing this dual GPU test. My goal was to see uh, what the cheapest, most affordable, uh, biggest LLM system that you can build to run the biggest LLM at home for the cheapest amount of money. So that's why I purchased this. And I did so because I was reading or have been reading about LLMs. I've not run one at home. That's something that I wanted to accomplish. But they talk a lot about the inner GPU communication speed and how crucial that is for running AI. That's why you hear about NVLink, which is the bridge that is supposed to be, I don't know, 10 or 15 times faster than the PCI bus is on your computer. Now, what I'm doing is just inference for the LLMs. I'm not doing any deep learning. I'm not doing any model training. I don't know if that process utilizes more of the inner GPU communication. But again, my goal was to set up an AI server. All that does is inference. If you wanna have an AI model set up so that you're not using a ChatGPT or a Google Gemini or a Copilot or any of the other online offerings, Claude, and you want to do that at home, this is going to be the setup. And it looks like you don't need the new stuff as far as the motherboards are concerned. So I've already purchased uh, another option, a new platform I've got coming in here. I'll give you a little, little glimpse. Here, I'll show that to you again. I'm excited about it. It's older. It's PCIe 3, not PCIe 5 that's been set to PCIe 3. We will test this once and for all. What I plan to do is run these same groupings through the old uh, or with the old motherboard and see the results, compare them up, and then we'll know exactly what kind of motherboard technology we need uh, to run a, a proficient AI home cheap uh, server.
and that was the goal of this project all together. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've learned a lot. It's been fun. Um, if you can't tell, uh, I'm running. This is my home office. Started this computer store. I'm a super geek. I love tinkering. Uh, I love working with technology, especially new technology and old technology. But uh, more than anything, I always like squeezing every last bit of performance out of technology for the cheapest amount of money for the longest amount of time. So it was really, it's really abnormal for me to have a, a latest gen anything, uh, but the business has dictated that, so I'm getting to play with some of this tech. But anyway, that wraps it up for this series with the new tech. I'm going to start a new series with the old tech coming up soon. So hang around for that. Look out for it. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you soon.